Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing and overview of my EOTech EXPS 3-0 holographic weapon sight. As you can see, it's pretty plain packaging, and on the back it just shows some advantages of a holographic weapon sight. You can pause it if you like. It's just a hard case underneath with a little sleeve on top, so let's get to unboxing it. All I gotta do is just slide this sleeve off, and it reveals the hard case underneath. Really nice hard case. Kind of has two little holes in the front, I guess if you'd like to put locks in them or something. Flat base for standing it up. And on the side you can see the serial on which it says the model number of the site. Very nice box. Love that they include it. Probably never use it again, but it's, uh, it's nice to know that it's well protected, especially during shipping. To open it, you just slide them to the side. Good quality. Open it up. And the first thing you see is the manual. Yeah, I kind of like this manual. It's kind of that military look to it. It's that uh, kind of tan color. You know, no other colors or pictures. I don't know, it's pretty cool looking, I think. And uh, the only thing that else it comes with is the registration card, which a lot of things come with. So, average stuff. But that's it. All other than that, it is just the weapon sight inside the box. Uh, you can see there's other spots in the foam to put other things, I guess, but this weapon sight just has the sight in it. So taking a closer look, you have the uh, windage and elevation adjustments on the side. You have your transversely mounted battery. And on the back, it does not have any of the controls on it, which I like. On this model, they are all on the side, including the brightness adjustment, as well as the night vision button. And of course, the uh, quick detach lever. Front, and then the bottom you can see a closer look of that uh, quick detach system. And to use it, super simple, push on that side button, lift up the lever, that unlocks it. To lock it again, just push the lever back down, boom, easy. Now for the battery, you can tighten it with a screwdriver or a coin or something, but I found that hand tightening it and uh, hand loosening it works just fine. The cap itself is held in place by a little stainless steel uh, cable. It is o-ring sealed and of course it does come with a CR123 battery as you'd expect. And it's completely watertight um, and submersible to 33 feet. So that's pretty cool. And the battery level, or the battery uh, life is uh, pretty good. It has a total of 30 brightness settings, and 10 of those are included in the night vision. To turn it on, you just press one of the up or down arrows, and you can see the, uh, the reticle itself. You have that nice large 65 MOA outer circle, outer ring, and then on the inside you have that nice small precise one MOA dot. And you do get an average battery life of about 600 hours, continuous hours, on the uh, level 12 brightness setting. So, definitely good battery life. And here you can see it's on, and to turn it off, you just press both the up and the down arrows. Same time, turns it off so you know it's, you're not going to accidentally turn it off. And just showing you how you can easily put it on a gun. Put it on my Daniel, Sen Daniel Fence AR. Super easy lock it down and it is mounted. I believe it is repeatable to a 2 MOA accuracy by uh, taking it off and putting it back on so that's good. It is a parallax free sight with unlimited eye relief and it, uh, the base is a 7 millimeter raised base. And I think it looks great on an AR and uh, here's what it looks like from behind the rifle. Well, that's it. Appreciate you watching.